And now, a can't-miss moment from The Charlie James Show. Liberals are outraged. I know, it's like every day they find something to be outraged about. But boy, Tim, liberals are outraged at a, a, a cable news network. Guess which network it is. Uh, Fox News. No. CNN. Oh. They're, oh, by the way, well, that's before we get to that, so I was, I was watching golf this weekend, as I normally do, and I was watching the ladies play over in the LPGA, and it was on uh, NBC, and they had, these, they had these promos, they had these promos, and one of them was this guy, Vivek, I don't know, uh, what's his name, whatever his name is, uh, the bald guy with the glasses, um, he... Uh, in this one promo, he's like, "We we have to hear we have to hear the opinions of everyone. We have to hear the opinions of of both sides, even if we don't agree with them." And then it just goes on to be all of this stuff about trashing Republicans. And then there's another promo that MSNBC has with Jen Psaki, and she's talking with um, oh, I can't remember the guy's name. It'll come to me in just a second. Um, uh, Hakeem Jeffries, and she's like. How can you be sure that this won't help Trump in the next election? It's, it's like so hypocritical of that network to even even try to act like they are nonpartisan because they are 100 percent. And we know that CNN is as well. Well, the liberals are really mad at CNN because they're going to be hosting a town hall. Who do you think the town hall is going to be with, Tim? <laughs> um, all right, all right. Let's let's go. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to present the facts to you now. You can be play. You're going to be Hercule Poirot now. Okay. Great, great detective. Liberals are mad. Uh huh. They're mad at CNN. All right. Because CNN is hosting a town hall. Okay. With whom? Uh, Donald Trump. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look at you, Mr. <laughs> Detective. By golly, you're fantastic. Um, yeah, they're mad at him. They're mad at, at CNN because they're hosting a town hall with uh, Donald Trump. With the 2024 presidential election underway, CNN anchor Caitlin Collins will moder moderate a live CNN town hall with former President Donald Trump at 9 p.m. on Wednesday, May 10th, from St. Anselm College in New Jersey. I'm sorry, New Hampshire. Hmm. Wonder how the students at that college, St. Anselm, are going to react to that. Popular information newsletter author Judge Legum said first CNN systematically purged anyone on the network who was deemed too anti-Trump. Now this. Really? When did that happen? <laughs> when, when, when did they get rid of the anti-Trump crowd? Uh, over there at CNN, I, I think I might yeah, have, I might have that. missed that one. Yeah, probably so. Uh, former MSNBC host and avid anti-Trumper Keith Olbermann said, I think we can say that Chris Licht's conversation of uh, conversion of CNN into a political and journalistic whorehouse is complete. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Way to go, Keith Olbermann. Now, listen to this. CNN's ratings are down 83%. That's right. <laughs> they are 17% away from being a zero. That's not surprising, though. No, it is not. It is not. They, uh, they had a huge loss of primetime viewers during the week of February the 27th, while President Trump is experiencing massive gains in his poll numbers and ratings. According to a report, CNN dropped 71% in total primetime viewers, 83% among viewers aged 25 to 54. Now, folks, you folks that are not in the media, you got to understand the 25 to 54 age groups, that's the target. Mm -hmm. That is the target. You hit those because those are, the ki those are the people that are still working for the most part and are making the most money. They've got the most discretionary income so when you advertise that's what you're looking for that's the age group that you're looking for and when you lose 83 percent of your viewers age 25 to 54 oh that is not good i mean uh advertisers will dump you in a heartbeat it's, it's a sad day
Yeah, it's a sad day when that <laughs> happens. CNN isn't the only anti-Trump news outlet that is suffering from ratings. Uh, the Washington Post, or the Washington Compost, as Trump calls them, they've lost 500,000 subscribers since Trump left office. And they're actually thinking about selling off part of the company. According to a report from Wall Street Journal, a far-left newspaper uh, subscriber count dropped more than 3 million. Wall Street Journal dropped 3 million. And now they've dropped another half million for a 20% decline. So, obviously, President Trump loving this information, right? I will guarantee you, more people will watch CNN that night with the town hall coming up on the 10th. I believe that I say the 10th, May 10th. More people will watch CNN at 9 o'clock that night than any other time possibly in the, well, I won't say their history, but probably modern history since Trump was in office. We'll say that. We'll say that. Now, you remember Donald Trump's speech at CPAC that outperformed all other cable news rankings. According to a cable news rankings report posted by Trump, the total viewership of the cable news rankings on Saturday, March 4th of 2023, revealed that Fox News' coverage of Trump's speech at CPAC topped the rankings with over 1.6 million viewers. Newsmax's coverage of Trump's speech uh, also made the ranking with over 600,000 viewers, which is pretty good for Newsmax. So speaking of that, what are you guys doing now that Tucker's not on? Don't miss the Charlie James Show, weekdays 3 to 7 on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D. The voice of the Carolinas.